Greetings. This is Bradford Donald Keller Townsend. This is Saturday, December 1st, 2018, and this is a forward research report on soil degradation and land degradation, the United States Department of Agriculture, Natural Resource Conservation Service. I will put a link uh, to this on the um, comment section, uh, so you're going to have to scroll down uh, to see where it is. It's simple to find. Uh, you can see there uh, www.nrcs.usda.gov, and that'll get you close, and then you can put in a little window up here, land degradation. Um, I'll read uh, just some highlights. Land degradation will remain an important global issue for the 21st century because of its adverse impact on agronomic productivity, the environment, and its effect on food scarcity and the quality of life. Productivity impacts of land degradation are due to a decline in land quality on site where degradation occurs, e.g. erosion, and off site where sediments are deposited. Okay, then I'm going to scroll down slowly. Um, this is all worthy of uh, reading. Information on economic impact of land degradation by different processes on global scale is not available. Some information for local regional services is available and has been reviewed. Now I'm going to go down. Um, soil compaction is a worldwide problem, especially with the adoption of mechanized agriculture. It has caused yield reductions of 25 to 50 percent in some regions of Europe and North America and between 40 and 90 percent in West African countries. In Ohio, reductions in crop yields are 25 percent in maize, 20 percent in soybeans, and 30 percent in oats and over a seven-year period. On-farm losses through land compaction in the USA have been established at U.S. dollars 1.2 billion per year. N nutrient depletion as a form of land degradation has a severe economic impact at the global scale, especially in sub-Saharan Africa. I'm going to continue on. Views on land degradation. Uh, this talks about the definition. There are numerous terms, and, and the article states that it's very important that we all get our jargon terminology um, so that we can effectively communicate and use. So when a term is used, um, there's like a dictionary that everyone can refer to uh, with uh, land and soil management. Now this table here, uh, Table 1, Estimates of All Degraded Lands in Million Squared Kilometers in Dry Areas. Africa, the total area, uh, 14,326,000 um, square kilometers degraded, over 10,000,000 458,000 or 73 percent of the land. Uh, I'll just do the percentages in the right hand column. Asia, 71 percent degraded. Australia, uh, the Anzac Pacific, 54 uh, percent. Europe, 65 percent. North America, where I live in the heartland, Indiana, 74 percent. South Africa, 73%. Total estimated composite, I'll read the total line, uh, total area, 
1.6 million uh, square kilometers of area. Of that, uh, we'll just round up to 36 million of it um, is degraded, and it's being graded, degraded at over um, 10 million square uh, uh, million square hectares, not meters. With um, a hectare is 100 square meters, a kilometer is 1,000 square meters. So it's um, it's a different scale. It's times 10 uh, to go from a hectare to a square kilometer. Still, that's a huge, say it's 15,000 um, squ uh, square hundred kilometers. Um, that's a huge amount of land. That's more than the state of uh, Indiana is lost uh, to degradation every year where it's no longer farmed at all or population expansion into areas that used to be farmland being used, you know, for housing or schools or uh, any type of commercial purposes. Table two, estimates of the global extent in million square kilometers of land degradation. Water erosion, uh, total at the far right, uh, 10 million. Uh, wind erosion, over 5 million. Chemical degradation, over two and a third million uh, physical degradation um, you could probably round that up to an even uh, million for a total there of uh, 19 uh, almost probably by now it would be 20 million since that's quite an old over 20 million uh, there's lots of other uh, good information here I'm just gonna scroll down I mostly just want to make people aware that this is out there and they can go uh, look at it themselves I'm just going to go down uh, to the uh, conclusion uh, agenda 21 uh, chapter 12 emphasizes land degradation through desertification and the international community, particularly through United Nations organizations, has launched several activities to address this. Um, integrated, they're trying an integrated approach to planning and management of land resources. In this sense, the problem of land degradation has been diluted and as such has not received the global attention it deserves. Though the stated objective in Agenda 21 is to strengthen regional and global systematic observation networks linked to the development of national systems for the observation of land degradation and desertification caused by both climate fluctuations and by human impact and to identify priority areas of action. We believe that we have yet to mobilize the soil science community to develop a proactive program in this area. Land degradation remains a serious global threat, but the science concerning it contains both myths and facts. The debate is perpetuated by confusion, misunderstanding, and misinterpretation of available information. Important challenges are to mobilize the scientific community to mount an integrated program for methods, standards, data, collection, and research networks for assessment and monitoring of soil and land degradation. To develop land use models that incorporate both natural and human-induced factors that contribute to land degradation and that can be used for land use planning and management to develop information systems that link environmental monitoring, accounting, and impact assessment to land degradation, to help develop policies that encourage sustainable land use and management and assist in greater use of land resource information for sustainable agriculture, to develop economic instruments for the assessment of land degradation and encourage the sustainable use of land resources. 
to rationalize the wide range of terminology and definitions with different meanings among different disciplines associated with land degradation, to, stable, to standardize methods of assessment and the extent of land degradation to develop non-uniform criteria for assessing the severity of land degradation, to overcome the difficulty in evaluating the on-farm economic impact of land degradation on productivity. There is an urgent need to address this issue through a multidisciplinary approach, but the most urgent need is to develop an an objective, quantifiable, and precise concept based on scientific principle. And there are many references here uh, on the website of papers. Um, it's a very complicated and complex issue, uh, land degradation. We have uh, a capitalist agricultural food system so there's uh, financial pressure on the farmers around the world. Um, in most places, there are property taxes that must be paid. So if they don't have a good crop um, harvest, the taxes are still due in, in most countries. Uh, there's all kinds of agricultural assistance uh, programs in uh, the medium income and upper income uh, countries. So you need to take into account um, the farmers need to be able to produce food whether it's nuts, berries, vegetables, chickens, meat, um, in a, eggs in a way that uh, gives them at least a small profit um, so they can continue uh, producing. And there may be a better method as far as land conservation, soil conservation, but if it doesn't yield enough uh, for the farmers uh, to stay in business. Uh, there have been farmers that have gone uh, it's, uh, it, to no-till agriculture, and it um, is growing quite rapidly, and the uh, methods and technologies and machinery for uh, agriculture are advancing <clears throat> and there's uh, it it's such a huge problem and anyone who's gardened or farmed um, on a certain scale knows that even in your your own garden or your own farm the soils can vary and um, there's not a one fits all solution you need to uh, address locally even within your own farm um, you know what the solution is for that particular um, portion of your farm. Uh, so it's a it's a very big, broad problem. Um, uh, we are facing scarcity of mineral resources such as uh, iron ore, copper, um, lithium, um, and many uh, the fertilizers as, as well. Um, uh, by 2070. Uh, there probably will be little or no fossil fuels available um, to grow food. And um, as soon as 2030, conventional um, production of fossil fuels may be um, below one-third of what it is now. Uh, that doesn't mean that there won't be unconventional, uh, let's say low quality, uh, what we call coal. It's not actually classified as coal maybe by geologists, um, uh, we may be able to get offshore oil uh, off of Brazil, for example, um, in, in very deep waters in a significant amount. But the return on energy invested may be quite low. Let's just say off of Brazil, you get building a giant oil tanker with the scuba divers and all that, and the helicopters flying personnel back and forth. Um, if you take all the energy to build that, it's so much more than just drilling a conventional well in Iraq or Iran, for example, which you may get an 80 to 1 energy return on energy invested. You might only get 10 or 8 um, offshore. And as the returns go down, I, I think even with unconventional, the actual production um, will uh, decrease. There's only about 5 
countries in the world that do not have declining um, petroleum production and even Saudi Arabia uh, within a decade because of their rapidly growing um, populations they have big families there and the Middle East in general is going through rapid population growth with increased life expectancy and high fecundity that um, we are facing um, the Middle East using a larger proportion of the oil that they produce that it has a high energy return on energy investment in places like Texas that still have conventional oil production um, in five or ten years will probably um, finally be depleted and we'll just have unconventional so we have this farming problem that's of mechanized agriculture which grows large portions of our food um, yet um, so we're facing this um, pincer movement from a military terms where they're trying to inflank us uh, and tack us from the side and behind um, with um, decreasing energy returns and uh, let on the other uh, right flank we have uh, less farmland and the farmland is being um, degraded and uh, its uh, nutrients um, are being um, this has been a forward research report Farewell and goodbye. Le vol un auf Wiedersehen. Adieu et au revoir.